Hey YouTubers, Electric Adventures here. Uh, this is a quick uh, package video, a special package from another YouTuber, um, Ben G76 Show. Um, I haven't actually been subscribed to him that long, um, but um, he subscribed to me, and he's uh, he's got a really good uh, channel. He's actually been around for quite some time, but fell quiet for a while, and has only recently come back um, into posting videos and things like that. Um, and he asked for my address and wanted to send me something. So, and he didn't want anything to return. So, I don't know what I, I don't know what's in this package. So, surprises are always nice. Um, now sorry if my eyes are a bit droopy today, but I've had a very bad migraine. So, um, I probably shouldn't be working at all, but I have been because I get bored. Um, and um, yeah, I have concentration problems at the moment. But anyway, so. Here's the package, can't show you... Oh, yeah, that's got his YouTube address on the back, so there we go. Benji76 Show. Worried about showing an address there, so... Let's open it up and see what's inside. So all the way from the US, of course. So, it's, um... It's actually in a... Nintendo plastic case, which I've actually never seen one of those before. But I take it they um, they maybe fit the original NES cartridges. Okay, so we have a note. Oh, I see. Right, so here's his note here. So, hi Tony. I hope all is well. There is. Here is the game I talked about sending you. Uh, it was really odd to find a PAL SNES, that's why you sent it to me game, at a local flea market. I love your channel, best of luck, Ben, Ben G76 Show. And he sent me, and yes it is a proper PAL Super Nintendo game that obviously made its way across to the US. And it's Jungle Strike. Which I think is out of focus, come on camera, it's either that or it's just my eyes, um, okay so it's not too bad, it's actually in, considering you found a flea market, it's actually in better condition than the other loose power cartridges that I have, some of those are disgustingly dirty and yellow, um, so this is the sequel to Desert Strike, um, I believe I have this game on the Mega Drive as well and it's a quite a good game, so it'll be quite good to see, do a comparison and see what it's like. On uh, on the Super Nintendo, we just to see whether the music music's improved for a start. So um, let's um, also a little bit later in the day when I'm feeling a bit better, um, I'll we'll add a play demo of this on. We'll be able to have a good session because it's only a single pickup. All right, thank you very much, Ben. For anybody who's not subscribed to him, subscribe. Really great guy. He's got a very um, nice looking collection, lots of NES and SNES and a few other systems and he also has a couple of arcade machines and um, he's been getting into the Neo Geo MVS lately and having a play of a few games on that so make sure you check his channel out so thank you very much Ben and um, let's go and have a go with the game Here we go with Jungle Strike, the sequel to Desert Strike. Um, and I've checked, I don't actually have Jungle Strike for the Mega Drive, I have Desert Strike. Um, and I'm sure I've seen a copy of Jungle Strike around here locally, not on people's videos, around here locally. So I think I may have passed up on a copy of Jungle Strike at a store recently because I thought I had it. So here we go with Jungle Strike on the NES. It's actually got quite good. Um, opening title screens. Actually using a bit of um, you know, semi-polygon work there to do this title sequence. It's got a whole long title section which we won't go into too much. So main menu, we've got a so, campaign, nice big fonts. So, 
go investigate something. I'm not sure we can speed this up. It'll make my video too long. Bad guys. Okay, press select button to skip. There we go. Okay, so like the first one, we have a helicopter taking off from perhaps the White House lawns. Okay, just different weapons. Backwards. Shovel buttons do anything? No. As per the first one, you can't really tell where you're going. You've just got to fly around and see whether you can find what you're after. Building, okay. We have a helipad. What happens if we land here? Nothing. <laughs> so maybe I wasn't. So that's obviously. Reach the limit of our world. I haven't actually played the, um, the first game for a while. Treasury. Ooh, there we go. Oops. So it's quite impressive graphics, an interesting sort of gameplay. Would be nice if you had a radar. Oops. I've managed to not get hit after that. Leave them all out now. No, one more. <coughs> so, once again, saying I was seeing if you could get a live a um a uh, radar up. You've only got a certain amount of ammo. It's the same as the first game. So that's the limit of our world that way now. So it auto lands if you hover over, I think. Still not sure whether that's refueling us or not.
be so nice if there was some sort of a map so you could tell where in order it's supposed to go. Because the, the area is quite big. So just randomly fly around. I think that's back to where. Aha! You sort of just got to fly around until somebody shoots at you to find stuff, that's the thing I'll say. Oops. Oh dear. Not going to do your helicopter any good running into buildings. So the map is quite big. the bottom at least. So it's definitely got nice graphics. Low fuel, great. Nice for washing the moral again. Need to land somewhere. you get refueled. No, obviously not. <laughs> like a refueling thing's come down. Oh, okay, so we actually pick something up. It's obviously more to this game than the first thing. Ooh. 
So I take it that was probably the thing we needed to find in the first place. Hopefully we've still got it. to be able to have some sort of arrow at the, at the monument again, so I sort of know where we are. So our building... So over here should be that pad, maybe if I land now I might get an objective. select then, okay? Terrace take Q Monuments So fuel car bombs Enemy sniper Attack vans. Oh, I see, I might have gotten all it. Fuel drums. So there are fuel drums. Ammo crates. Ammo trucks. Ah, oh, right, so what I picked up was an ammo thing. Landing zone. Campaign missions, monuments, attacks, terrorist HQs occupied. Five car bombs, zero. Agent Akbar captive. Medicaid in danger, sniper at large. So we have to do all those things. Uh, locate and destroy the terrorist headquarters of the civil government buildings. Capture the leaders for information. Okay. So, terrorist headquarters, so we get out of here. I was going to say, because if there's no map, it makes it very, very difficult. Now, let's see where we are now. Straight down from there. So that would put here. Oh, well, only try. You can't seem to destroy the buildings. Spot. 
This is where I shot some guys before, wasn't it? to look at some guides. Alright, this is dragging on a little bit. Um, uh, it's definitely an intriguing game and one I need to read the instructions for just to be able to get that extra little thing. The graphics are excellent and um, there's not a lot of in-game stuff uh, as far as music is concerned. I um, mean it's just got helicopter sounds and gunfire. Oh and there we go. All I needed to do was put one missile into that and then it was happy. Great. So, just playing around, I managed to, um... So, where's base? So, landing zone's there, okay? Let's just quickly go do that. Maybe we have to go back to, well that's one of those spots, maybe we need to go back to the CIA headquarters which is only just over here. So I tell you, you've got, a, you've got several question marks where you can investigate where the um, bad guys are, and obviously the one with the bad guys outside of it. This is going to be a pretty good chance. All right, thanks Ben for sending the game. It's really cool. Oh, I'm going to have to have uh, more games of it later and work it out properly. Um, it's actually a game with a bit of depth and uh, and, and um, good fun to play and good graphics. All right, I'll catch you all later.